Today's game is coming to you live from a galaxy far, far away. We're at City Alpha Stadium built on a floating meteorite, which also serves as an off-Earth penal colony when the games aren't being played. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Snuffle Thrills take on the Galaxy Chaos. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Grim Blitzrow with you along with my partner, former player Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. And his life partner, the mini mutant head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. <laughs> You just threw up on my shoulder. I don't often drink beer, but when I do, I get totally shit-faced. I am the world's most intoxicated man. Say that again. First and ten. That's a catch for a one yard gain. That's not going to do it, fellas. Second down and nine. for three yards. Third down and six. Well, a good heads up play there, getting it out of bounds. Better than throwing a pick. Now well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Man, what a hit. That guy is not getting up. And it's first and ten. money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim.
third down and never going to happen. Oh, great pass on that play. They caught the defense napping. Any field goals over 40 yards are difficult. He's going to really have to boom this one. That looked like the QB's fault. If he held the ball spikes out like it was supposed to, the kicker would have never missed. And it's first and ten. is good for about five yards. Second down and five. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I gotta, uh... <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Second down and nine. sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is a palm crib. That cross pitching, unbelievable. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. And so at the end of the first quarter, we've got a scoreless game. Just like you love life. Second and one. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Third and four. Oh, with the punishing hit.
point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! point attempt. It's 
first and ten. I personally think that the ginormous guys pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Second down and seven. short, but this one shouldn't give the kicker any trouble. Unless he collapses under pressure and never makes another kick again. Hmm. That's bleak, Bricks. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. First and ten. And they'll keep the drive alive as he rifles it in there and picks up seven yards. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. Second and three. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. Third and two. No, oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. And they take their last time out. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, see that Bridget's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I took it as a compliment. And he held on to that one for a first down. It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. It's anyone's game as the third quarter begins. Both teams have taken their performance-enhancing drugs, and everyone is ready to rock and roll. The teams line up for the second-half kickoff. right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. Turn the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo-yo of doom? No, my friend. I didn't. I love this job. Second down and a lot. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. Come on! And the quarterback unleashes. I can't keep a good mutant down. And he 
forced his way out of that tackle. Great chance for a big game. But still not enough for a first. Even I'm frustrated, and I'm a team agnostic. And it looks like the offense is desperate for a first down. And that's a work speed dirty trick. Look at him go. It's the flash in the road button had a big He clinched for kick and blood and guts, and he's looking to score. He's at the 10. Touchdown! These aren't just regular aliens. They are criminal aliens. They have a lot of moves besides dancing. And a rest minute check the wallets. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. First and ten. Second down and long. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Football, the mighty punter. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog named Snags. He got a Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, he should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Out of the ship. And it's first and ten. to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Second down and ten. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. the pass, but then a slap in the face by the defense. Wow, that's me in the hotel bar every night. Hey, your opening line needs work. Why? Really? What's a pretty girl like you doing here all by herself? Are you a hooker? Well, it's a fair question. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. First and ten. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Missed a meat for brains, ran with a ball and didn't fall down. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The 
home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. It's two yard run before he stopped. And that'll be second and eight to go. If you don't hear it coming, it'll knock you right on. Holy crap! He missed time the spikes and ends up dead. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Third and four. Burners after that catch and score. Nicely done. Hey man, nobody can touch you with eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? Pilot? Hey Bricks, they're going for two here. Second down and ten. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Taking what the defense has given them. That's a four yard gain on the reception. Hey, less than a wipe with a headache. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Boom! <laughs> And it 
It's first and ten. Whenever a player gets big like this, it reminds me that Tom Man, he just laid the wood on him on that one and knocked the ball out. The defense is relentless out there, and they get the turnover. And he finds open space, is running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Second down in a mile. I personally think the ginormous. Oh, and he fumbles the ball on that hit. When you hurl and get hit, chances for a fumble increase. Third down and long. away oh and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without novocaine if i had all my teeth knocked out like that i'd have to made it the dice grim it'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth <laughs> he's got the distance and the kick is gone here comes the kicker uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. for the first down. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. Two minutes remaining in the game. We'll be right back, folks. Jeez, can this game take any longer? I got a date with Hot Wanda after this. Junior, I told you that girl's nothing but trouble. And I don't think that's a mole one I lick either. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Dirty trick. The last play is a race. How did they do that? Did they go 88 miles per hour? Just ask. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Hey, man. See that? That's right. You can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. The kick is good! And, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. 
Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. First and ten. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Now, why are they stopping the clock for the offense, Grim? They're stopping it for their own offense. They're hungry for the ball, partner. The ball? The pigskin? Bacon. I'm hungry for bacon. The defense is leaving the team with just one timeout, so they better bring the ball back gift wrapped. Is it time for a ribbon or a ball grin? Maybe if they use their last timeout. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Second down and ten. point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. <laughs> Second down and ink it. And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? advance if only it was as easy as telling them time out and they went to the air and came up big third down and five and he was steering a pick six but dropped the interception and it's the chaos caused defensive chaos and are the victors today they come up big today with a solid win and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home just like chicken. How is it Scrabble's tomato soup? I forget, but a good scab tastes like bacon. Dad, I know. Mm-mm, a scab lettuce tomato sandwich. Sounds like a picnic. And the MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...